Hey Virgo, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie. Today I am doing your weekly reading for the third week of July. So that will be from the 15th to the 21st. Let's see what energies are available for you. Let's see how are you guys dealing with this powerful solar eclipse, lunar eclipse or solar eclipse. I will verify that for you. <laughs> There's an eclipse on the 16th. I believe it's in Capricorn. But I don't know if it's a solar eclipse or a lunar eclipse. I just got confused about that. So we'll see. But basically, I want to know how you guys are feeling. I want to know how these might be affecting you. And I want to know what advice does the universe has for you, Virgos. So I'm using the White Sage mini deck. And I'm using the Unicorn Tarot as well. Virgos, Virgos, Virgos. What's up with my Virgos? I'm going to be doing a Celtic cross, which is not the usual spread that I do. It is the spread, though, that I use for the um, personalized readings. Knight of Wands in the recent past. Six of Wands as the message from the universe. Challenge is the moon. Might be a lunar eclipse. <laughs> Still hanging on to that. In the near future, you have justice. Beautiful. You are represented by the two of pentacles. Your environment is represented by the four of cups. Your hopes and fears are the Queen of Swords. Mm. And your outcome is the Knight of Pentacles. Perfect. I'm going to be pulling, for you guys, six unicorn cards because I feel inclined to, even though for other signs I have been pulling just four. Let's see. What messages are available for our beautiful Virgos this week? King of Cups, Nine of Swords, Two of Wands, Seven of Cups, Queen of Cups, And the Seven of Pentacles. Beautiful, guys. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Swords. Some of you guys could be dealing with air signs, Libra, Geminis, or Aquarius. Let's see. Okay, so right off the bat, the first thing that I'm going to talk about is the challenge. How about that? <laughs> How about we start with that right away and leave that energy behind us because there's a lot of goodness also available in this reading. So let's start with what might be challenging you this week. We got the Nine of Swords, we have the Seven of Swords, and we have the Moon card as your challenge position, challenge card. So you could be dealing with a lack of clarity. You may not know exactly what's happening. You may not feel capable of translating what the universe is doing. It's like you see what's happening, but you know, don't know what it means. Or maybe you're trying to read a deeper message into the things and, and the things that are happening and how they unfold, but you can't seem to grasp the message. You know what I mean? And that could be a little bit frustrating, guys. I have to admit, you could be feeling a little bit of anxiety this week because you may feel like there's things moving on around you that feel, feel like a mystery. You could be kind of like wondering like, what is, why is this per person acting so weird? Or what is happening with that, you know, area of my life? And it will feel like a mental fog. And it will also feel, I'm getting the sense of a little bit of a seven of swords energy. It may feel for you as though negative things could be lurking around. But I don't feel like this is the case, but it may feel that way for you. You may feel like 
someone is plotting against you or something has been sent your way that is negative or someone could be trying to betray you or trying to have control over you but this is not the case guys i'm getting that very clearly you may feel that way you may even swear by it you may feel the sneakiness around you but it's actually not there okay so that is important um i feel like you guys could be feeling a little bit of paranoid anxiety this week so if you do just first of all acknowledge that you may be wrong you know sometimes our intuition is spot on but sometimes with certain astrological alignments we could be perceiving things that are not necessarily applying for us or we could you we could be like misjudging the situation even even if our intuition is incredibly strong it happens so it's important to if you feel very anxious and kind of paranoid know that your fear will tell you a story but the reality might be a, a different story okay your fear might tell you exactly what your fear wants to tell you and that's not necessarily true so try to take everything with a grain of salt try to not take any actions or decisions try not to you know move forward with with anything simply just cater to your needs and take care of yourself and understand that right now you are very blinded by the energies and you can't see things as clearly as you would like so that's the challenge for this week now we're going to move on to all the beauty that there is here because there's tons okay there is a very powerful new beginning starting for you guys something that's going to make you feel very passionate inspired motivated it's like a new birth it's like a birth of that inner flame within your heart that is going to take you places and it's going to take you to victory guys but the six of wands and the ace of wands i see you guys succeeding shining i see you guys being like the center of attention in the best way possible some of you guys might not like that but in this case you will <laughs> because it's a celebration of your efforts and your abilities it's a reward for all of your hard work they've been putting into something for years now without even noticing it's like that you're not you still haven't seen this new beginning because of the moon and because of the seven of cups and the nine of swords it's very likely that this week comes in and you're not aware of what i'm talking about when when you listen to this reading it's very very common that you just maybe have an idea or maybe not even that Maybe you don't know what that new beginning is, but it's in the making nonetheless. Whether you can see it or not, it is happening and it's going to be incredibly positive for you guys. The thing is that you are in your mind space, you have the hanged man energy. So you're just you're just chilling. You're not paying, you know, close attention to anything if you can help it. You're just kind of laid back and allowing everything to unfold as it needs to and allowing all of the pieces to fall where they may and everything's fine you know you're in a very chilled space of mind and that's cool you know try to remain that way as much as possible and especially if you if you do go into this nine of swords energy of not being able to sleep because of the worries and the anxieties and the fears try as soon as possible to get back into the hangman energy although this is probably trying to tell you something so evaluate what is that anxiety trying to tell you and if it's not aligned with anything in particular just move on from it you have a king of cups and you have a queen of cups some of you guys could be dealing with a male cancer pisces or scorpio and a female cancer pisces or scorpio could be dealing with a couple or you could be dealing with a harmonization of the female and i mean the feminine and the masculine energy within you especially in regards to your emotional area of your life so maybe right now you're thinking some of you guys are thinking i want a romantic relationship maybe i just met someone maybe i'm starting dating someone maybe i am already in a relationship but i do feel like I need to balance balance out a little bit how much I give and how much I receive because sometimes I feel like I give too much and I don't receive back what's fair or sometimes I receive and receive and receive and then for some reason I just forget to give and other people in my life tell me about this some of you guys are dealing dealing with something similar to this along those lines 
If it doesn't apply for you, the message is not for you, lovely, lovely um, Virgo. <laughs> um, let's see. In the near future, you will experience justice, okay? So if there's something that's worrying you, if there's something that's feeling off, if you are feeling a little bit, you know, paranoid about something, know that you have justice on your side 100%. So don't fear what anybody or anything could do to you because you are more than protected. Okay, guys? And it's very likely that those things that you think people want to do to you in a negative way are not even there this week. You're very intuitive usually, Virgo, but this week you could be under a little bit of a false impression. Humility is what I'm hearing. I don't know how that applies. With the Knight of Wands, in the recent past, you could have been dealing with someone who's very, very charming. Charming, bright, they have a great personality that can move mountains. They can basically convince anyone of anything because they have this inner charm. But then when you get to know them a little bit deeper, you may realize that, you know, they're human like everybody else and they make mistakes they make mistakes and they have you know shortcomings as everybody does but at the surface level they may appear to be someone who basically don't have any flaws you know they they have that charm that air of confidence around them and that influences people whether they want it or not they're highly influential some of you guys could be in that energy you could be you know presenting that energy yourselves in the recent past, or you may be dealing with someone that has those characteristics. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sag. Now, you are being represented by the Two of Pentacles here. So I feel like the Hangman and the Two of Pentacles right now are, for me, um, speaking about the heart chakra. It's like you have peace in your heart, and you're just allowing yourself to flow, and you're allowing the emotions to rise and fall, and you know, everything's fine. You feel fine. Your heart feels safe. And as soon as it doesn't feel safe, you're reminded that it is safe. Then we have the Four of Cups in your environment. So there might be a lot of people pro providing like invitations or proposals for you. Be very aware that some of them are gonna make sense and others of them are not really aligned with you. So make sure that you're paying attention to that and not don't say yes to everything if you can help it. In your hopes and fears, the Queen of Swords, you hope, you wish to be more objective, to be more cutting if you need, to be clear in your communication, to tell whoever you need to tell off, to tell off, you know, and to be able to get your message across unapologetically, even if you need to be cold to do that to do that but there's a part of you that still feels a little bit shy about this and you want to kind of like avoid conflict or you know sugarcoat things a little bit some of you guys could be having desires for a air sign aquarius libra gemini and also have a little bit of an, a fear towards that same person all of this is guiding you into a space in which you're going to feel very still with the Knight of Pentacles here, you are entering a phase in which... Actually, no, you're not entering a phase. You're already there. You're just letting things fall into place. And the Knight of Pentacles is a bit of an extension of that. So instead of moving forward, instead of taking action, making decisions, what you're doing right now is simply letting everything fall into the right place. You're trusting the universe and that is going to be very rewarding for you, Virgo. I love it. Um, Right now you are in the right path and you know it, you know that you are, but maybe, as I mentioned, you're not going full force into the future, you're just kind of like stepping um, back a little bit and seeing what you already manifested and taking some time to see what you want to manifest next. This is what I have for you guys. I hope that this is a beautiful, beautiful week. It seems like it will definitely be. Could be a little confusing, but it's a definitely um, beautiful week for you guys. I'm sending so much love your way. Please make sure before you go that you are subscribed to the channel 
And if you resonate with yoga and meditation, you can check out in the description box the link for the Yoga with Katie channel, which is barely even a thing so far, but it will become a very lovely space in time. So I invite you to check it out. Sending all my love, Virgo. Bye.